I want to be like ISO EXO. Believe me, I've tried. And I've tried. Again. And again. But there's something that this fast rising talent does that I can't quite replicate. There's something I'm missing. He's the forerunner for keeping the EDM trap sound alive. His recently sold out show at the Fonda was filled with incredible IDs and edits and the energy was immaculate. And he's got a collab with Skrillex. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is The thing that makes ISO EXO so awesome is this dichotomy between open and epic intros and the heavy hitting drops. So after setting the BPM to 150, an ominous epic vocal, but that's not ominous enough. So pitch it down. Respace, anchoring the song by introducing the key of the drop. It's important this thing plays the same thing by the time we get to the drop because we'll be making atonal noises like. But we're not there yet. An equally ominous and mysterious ARP. Echoing the early 2000s aesthetic that I definitely didn't live through and that ISO EXO encompasses palm muted guitar playing power chords. Thick kick. Clap. Off beat perks. And more perks, but make them orchestral. And all together. With all this ominences, omin, ominence? So to ease us in, we can use light chord progressions and dissonance along with the anchoring Reese bass to ease us into the drop. All of this is best achieved during the- What the frick is up, Denny's? Open up this pit! I mean, guitar. Open up this guitar. Like, it's not playing muted notes anymore. Fast pre-made snare loop because I'm lazy. Thick snare layer that goes fast that I made myself because I'm not actually that lazy. Chop up the vocal from earlier. And somehow get Travis Barker onto the track. Make sure to keep the claps and orchestral perks going. And hire a dude to play guitar from the balcony of the Fonda. <laughs> what a chad. And all together. Now that we've established some theme with the guitar and built up excitement, it's now time to hit him with the And if you want to be like ISO EXO and release a bunch of singles to build up your hype, you might be thinking, hmm, that might get a little expensive, especially if you're doing it independently. So let's math this out. For some distribution services, let's say you want to do six releases a year, you'd be paying up to $30 per song. And that's like, that's like $180 on a monthly release schedule. And that's not including royalties, but you owe the distributor. Not with this video sponsored DistroKid. If you want to follow an exact same release schedule using DistroKid, you'd only be paying $23. Wait, per song? No, for the entire year. DistroKid lets you upload unlimited songs for only $23 a year. So if you've been watching my videos and pumping out bangers, you could even release twice a month 
and your wallet wouldn't even break a sweat. On top of that, DistroKid does not take a cut of your earnings, you keep 100%, and I've personally used DistroKid for years. Check out some of my releases. So go check them out to sweeten the deal, get your first year even cheaper with my VIP link. Now, on to the f Real Trap Beat. Hats on the eighth note. Sometimes layered with an open hat for a little accent. And you probably heard him, but sneak in some fast hats right before Remedy Snare 11. And top it all off with a ride. 808 sample with wombo combo, erosion, and pedal. Then EQ boost it like this because we want to be obnoxious and say F you to all the old analog heads who were stuck in 1965 but still put a limiter on it, please, because we're not, we're not that crazy. <laughs> Layer that hit with a Reese bass, but the filter opened up. Also a sub bass. And Old Faithful, AKA Poop Saw. And a growl with Corpus on it on the first beat. <laughs> Layer all of those with the thick kick. And that, my friends, will give you the nastiest womp anyone has ever whomped. Sneak in a few vocal fills at the end of each phrase. And a siren. And all together. It still doesn't sound right. As I made attempt after attempt, I realized I was overlooking an incredibly important part of my process. An important part of anyone's production process. In a desperate attempt to nail this, I went live and produced on stream. And because of you, we got rid of this siren actually and ended up using a pulsing ARP because my chat <laughs> is always right. I also ended up foregoing a lot of sound design for the lead and was pointed in the direction of another creator who I hadn't heard of who had the exact sound which I was looking for, leading to <laughs> more obnoxious sounds. So like go yell at a fast food worker or something because you didn't get your mayo on your sandwich. That way you can capture the true essence of a sound like layered with a transient version of it and a phasing and noise version of it. Sneaking in a reverb swell, gluing it all together in one group, and bam. Next, don't just copy paste this all over the drop, separate it into two different sections, just like ISO EXO's friend Knock2 does. Then, just right click, switch on triplet grid, and go ham. And with gunshot synths like these, it only makes sense to have some kind of gun to help out with the transient. But since we lost the last three rounds, we gotta save. So I'm gonna go with the free gun. And by the end of it all, chatting with everybody as I make songs reminds me of why I wanna be like ISO EXO. By boasting the energy of early 2000s online DIY culture, ISO XO inspires me to carve out my own path, especially since it reminds me of my early days in music, hustling during the SoundCloud era, putting on shows, and being 100% myself. Yet, despite my first attempts of trying to be like ISO XO, I was missing one crucial thing that he has expertly cultivated community. The combination of aesthetic and DIY sentiment really shines through, and that type of self-sufficiency is something that I aspire to. On top of that, he proudly wears his hometown, San Diego, on his sleeve, and has risen up with friends like Knock2, even starting to peek out of the EDM sphere a bit, playing festivals like Head in the Clouds. He's used the internet to create a world of his own, and found the support he needs to grow in labels like Sable Valley and through collabs with artists like Skrillex. And through this channel, I like to think that I've kind of done a version of that. So I want to shout out everyone who joins my streams, listens to my music, hangs out on Discord, and especially you right now watching this video. Thank you for making this community so incredible. Now go make some bangers.